We sit nebulous in steam. It calms the air and makes the window stream, rippling the hinterland's big house to a blur of bed sits, not a patch on what they were before. We stuff the tub, jam money in the slot, sit back on rickle chairs, not reading. The paperbacks in our pockets curl. Our eyes were riveted, our own colors whirl. We pour in smithereens of soap. The machine slobs through its cycle. The rhythm throbs and changes. Suds drool and slobber in the churn. Our duds don't know which way to turn. The dark shoves one man in, lugging a bundle like a wandering Jew. Linen washed in public here. We let out the, of the bag who we are. This young wife has a fine stack of sheets, each pair present. She admires their clean-cut air of color schemes and being chosen. Are the dyes fast? This christening lather will be the first test. This woman is deadpan before the rinse and sluice of the family in a bag wash. Let them stew in their juice to a fi final fankle, twisted, wrung out into rope. Hard to unravel, she sees a kaleidoscope. For her to narrow her eyes and blow smoke at his overalls and pants ballooning, tangling with her smalls, and a t-shirt skinned from her wriggling sun. She has a weather eye for what might shrink or run. This dour man does for himself, before him, half lost, his small possessions swim, cast off, random, they nose and nudge the porthole glass like flotsam. Relatively lengthy, Pondret by Liz Lockhead attempts, quite successfully, to compare the cycle of life and almost everything else to a laundrette. Personifying most objects to compare with the tossing and turning, everyday moments and predictions of life, this poem has an A-A-B-B rhyme scheme and eight stanzas with a neat four lines per stanza. The presence of the word nebulous in the first sentence establishes that the speaker is not alone. There are others in the laundrette. In the fourth stanza, the use of the phrase, like a wandering Jew, leads to a conclusion that weakness and suffering is part of the story. Liz Lockhead seems to write the poem in a way that portrayed the amount of information about another's life one can obtain through looking at their dirty laundry, which symbolizes their life problems being brought to be washed out in front of the world. The poet opens with describing the steamy laundrette, making the people only semi-visible, with words like nebulous. The speaker uses colloquial language that make the poem sort of informal and reflective of everyday life. Moreover, the rhythm of the poem creates a tossing and turning motion in the reading through enjambment and, sh and jejura, which is complemented by the onomatopoeic sounds of the machines doing personified, human-like things such as sob. In addition, the machines are not the only personified objects in the poem. The darkness is said to shove a wandering Jew, an archetype of a lonely person on the earth. This creates a feeling of the laundrette being a micro-version of the world and people in it.